Today, Asus announced their new Nova Go. This is an ARM-based laptop uh, running the Snapdragon 835, and it has got some big promises. Gigabyte LTE, 22 hours of video playback, 30 days of standby, comes with Windows Ink, Hello, and Cortana support, uh, as you would expect with Windows 10. Uh, this thing is going to start at $599 and go up from there, and that'll get you, uh, you can get up to, I should say, 256 gigabytes of storage, 8 gigs of RAM, and so this is uh, what I'm thinking is going to be closer to an entry-level PC for the Snapdragon place, and it's a pretty good machine. You know, I'm honestly surprised. The keyboard felt good. The machine felt nice. It wasn't super premium like the HP, but it didn't feel chintzy either. Performance was relatively good. You can see the screen snap back and forth a little bit and the start menu open. Unfortunately, we couldn't run things like Minecraft. They weren't installed. I'm guessing Microsoft didn't want us to really test these things too heavily. And so just playing around with it, um, opening apps and closing them, it felt fine. You know, nothing overly crazy. Like this is not an i7 competitor. But at the end of the day, this is going to be a great entry-level machine, and it's got a nice expansive trackpad that has a fingerprint reader, at least it looked like a fingerprint reader, a bunch of ports available. And so if you didn't know the difference, you would honestly think this is a standard PC. But this is the Asus Novago coming next year in the spring of 2018.